Yo, what is going on, boys? Asian Sensation back with another banger. Today's episode, we got some Dread Blue and K. And we are going to be using the Cobra Monkey, baby. You guys have been liking the Cobra content because I haven't been doing much with the Cobra until like pretty recently. So let's give it a go here. We're going to go Cobra Bomb Mortar, the sweatiest Cobra strat out there. And we're going to have ourselves a day. Pretty decent opponent right off the rip, 78% one loss. Should be a good one. If you guys aren't new to the channel or just haven't done this already, make sure that subscribe button for us as well as we are nearing 80,000 subs, which is a pretty exciting milestone. All right, so I'm going to start off with the Cobra here, put him on strong, 1-0, and we're going to spike the top. Turn guided access on. Oh, Asian, use a time limit. No, that's the default setting. But yeah, the reason we spike is we want this round to be as short as possible. B poppers might start the farm. However, that's not the play here, because if I am anti-stalling, he's not going to get any bananas round one, so... We're going to place down a mortar immediately. We're really just trying to focus on making sure these rounds are flying by. That's that's our whole objective in this matchup. So we're probably up against like Dartling Farm. Yeah, easy reads. Let's go ahead and get Rapid Reload so that we can pop these Natural Bloons mighty quick. And hopefully our Cobra can clean up these uh, Straggler Bloons in the back for us. Um, Actually, eh, it's okay. We're vibing. Fairly quick round. He gets up Pow Darts now, though, so he should be fine. Hopefully he doesn't send me Panks, because I would struggle Lug, but I think he's vibing. So yeah, our main focus here is make these rounds short, because any Dartling Farm Strat is basically going to outlight game us. Um, any, like, normal one, that is. He's not going to go, like, Dartling Farm Boomer, bro. This isn't free power-ups. You don't have to worry about anything like that. So I'm not really worried about some funky Dartling Farm Boomer. It's most likely going to be a Stall Tower, whether it's ice ninja or glue glue is probably the most likely but we'll just have to wait and see so yeah like i said these balloons have not gotten really past this first bend which means we're doing a solid job of shortening these rounds which is our main objective so he has a plantation well done problem is he's not sending me anything if you're just sending me a little bit of balloons there he goes on cue but oh my god it is boomer what the heck Okay, so now we got to pull a massive audible and not anti-stall at all because we have a late game advantage, boys. So if you have a late game advantage, obviously you want to play so you can have as much money as possible. This emo thing's in the way. You want to play so you have as much money as possible to defend rushes. So that means we want to extend out these rounds. So we don't even want to focus on anti-stall. We just assume he's going to have a strategy that out late, game, out late games us. Darling Farm Boomer's terrible late game. He has no stall. He has to, like, get $20,000 of defense to defend a BFB. Like, it's it's crazy. This is really good for us. Obviously. We just want to really focus on getting a high eco, but make sure that we have enough money to defend rushes. So here, he's going to send yellow. So I'm just going to go for bigger blast. That way, we're A-OK. -okay. He goes for a Glaive Ricochet. Bit of an over-defend, in my opinion, on his end. Don't need that, buddy. You can sell your... I would, I would have went for a Bionic, because Bionic you could turn into a Turbocharge, which defends camos. Whereas, that's just like a terrible Glaive Lord spot, plus why would you go for a Glaive Lord? You know what I mean? But yeah, we're just going to focus on getting Eco at this point. Our live count's good. We'll send Leds to force Red Hat Rengas. And keep vibing. He's going to send me region Leds, probably. Easy reads, or no? Not easy reads. Can't read my boy B-Pops. B-Poppers. We're just going to keep on getting up defense here. He is going to rebuy for the Bionic, it looks like. That's the correct play, in my opinion. I mean, like, obviously the Glaive Ricochet is great against group balloons, but everything else, Bionic's just better. So we're doing A-OK. -okay. I think we'll send him a Camel Lead here just to force some defense. We'll get Signal Flare. And we should be okay against this Rush. Assuming we Mortar Micro a little bit. Yep, we're good to go. Perfect. So yeah, we just kind of focus on getting a decent amount of eco. Also, we could kill him with adjustment. Adjustment is kind of tough to defend with his loadout. Sure, act that's actually where the Glaive Lord would come into play. Is a balloon adjustment. But I don't think that's going to be the how this game's even played. Plus, like, I don't want to adjust him. Why would I put money into balloon adjusting when I can put money... Okay, he's going to rush me here. It looks like this will do nothing. We're literally fine against everything other than a massive region rainbow rush. Okay, why, dude... You not know what a signal flare is, be puppus? Signal flare is gonna defend the camos, man. Come on, little bro. But yeah, um, we just take this late. Like, there's no way, no reason to put my eco money into wire or not wire funds, 
Wide Fod's great, because it's like a farm. But Bloom Adjustment, there's not really a point. Because I'm not worried about this guy getting disgustingly good farms where I can't defend a rush he sends me. Because it's so girthy. Oh my gosh, stop sending... Why are you sending leads? Two-thirds of my towers specialize in popping leads. Oh, he sent a Camel Ceramic in there, that's why. Too bad that doesn't do anything, because Cobras on Strong are a beautiful thing. And they cleaned it up. So if you slow down the tapes there, he definitely sent like a Ceramic in there. I was trying to get a little cheesy win right there, but... You have 800 eco. Good spot. Are we recording? We are. Love to see it. I'm just going to keep ecoing. Make sure we can fend any rushy suns our way. And that's really all we have to do. So we are going to have to worry about Moab's next round. Now, we could go for a blue impact. That's a super safe play. Or, hear me out, chat. We just spam 1-0 Cobras on strong. Dude, this isn't going to work. Stop. This does No, buddy. No. It didn't work the first time. Oh, do people not learn from their mistakes? <laughs> Bro, that my defend was a fluke at first, so he tried it again. No, honey. No, no, no. Okay, so he's going to send me a Moab now. Easy reads. We can expect a Moab in like 10 seconds, probably. I'm just going to chill with my Cobra army. He probably sends a BFB. Now, normally, I don't think you should preemptively get up a misdirection. But with this opponent, I think it's okay. Because I think there's like a 100% chance he sends me a BFP. Don't ask me why. I just think there is. We're going to go ahead and sell one of these. Just so we can get the misdirection immediately. Perfect. And now we just kind of chill out here. Make sure our Clusty Busty... And there's the Moab. We should be finding this with a couple spike action and then mortar micro. Look at that. That's how you clean up a rush, baby. That's how you clean up a rush, baby. And he's going to send me... And all out. Okay, so pretty easy to defend. All we have to do is just get up a few of these. And we can just boost here, but only betas boost this. Chads just... Okay, I think... I panicked! I panicked! I'm not a Chad, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, we just had a BFB and we win. So let's do that. Let's do that. He sent me the Moabs, not the BFB. It threw me off. So he's going to come back for more. Should be able to defend this super easily we just got to get up a few of these and that's honestly an over defend but if i was really worried about not being able to defend what i would do is i would get up this guy right here monkey stim decrease tower power cooldown by five seconds so you can get a couple of those and we would get our power boost back quicker and then we can defend any rush or we could play the safe route and just mortar stall that's always a play so we're just going to moab assassin ability the ai here because it's very deadly here so that's how we're going to defend come on come on Okay, that was not working. And he's going to go for a little cheese rush here. I respect the play, buddy, but unfortunately, I was prepared for those camos. That was a fun, good game, though. We'll hit him with a uh, good old Regen Camo Red. I said that in a weird way. It's just a cam grow red, Asian. All right. Well, that's my thumbs up. He tossed me a well done. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time. I'll catch you in the next one, buddy. And we'll go next. Unless he DC glitches me. All right. Bro, I need some WD-40 for my chair. Listen to that. Oh, my God. I'm not playing B poppers again, bro. I'll donate my meds. Let's see if he just leaves. He just DC glitched me. Like, you gonna laugh? All right. We're going to get B poppers to win because, honestly, I'd prefer to play someone else. No offense. You can have your meds. I don't care. All right. We got Miguel. I'm going to give this guy a free one as well. No offense, Miguel. You're just... Not who I'm looking for, unfortunately. We're just going to swipe left, and uh, we'll see what the next opponent. Survey says... All right, there we go. We got Mer1LO. I think it's supposed to be, like, Mario, kind of. No way, he's DCing? Someone DC'd, right? No, we're good. Okay. This guy's pretty good. Little Brazilian lad here. Been around for a few years. Should be a fun one. We're sticking with the script, boys. Cobra Bomb Mortar. Let's get after it. Okay. This is like... Cobra's gotta be like one of the most annoying towers to play against. 100%. We're just gonna start with our Cobra. Start you right here. Let's see what he does first. Oh, he's going Cobra as well. Okay, so... We're going to not worry about anti-stalling here. Let's start with this. Cobra v Cobra is a really fun matchup. And not something you play very often on a majority of maps. You might see it on a map like A-game where Cobra's really strong, but... Let's see what he goes for. He goes for double-wired fun start. That's fine. Sure, I miss out on 
a little bit of money, but I get the head start on popping these balloons he's sending. So he's gonna burn a spike, that's fine. I'm getting more eco. Ah, maybe the double wired fun start is better. Sure, he's sacrificing some eco, but then again, his mortar is gonna be chasing here. Notice how I just assumed he had mortar, because mortar just pairs so well with Cobra. Okay, and bomb. So yeah, we'll try to catch up in the wired funds race here. He actually went for a faster reload, so he stopped chasing. And just like that, we tied up the Cobras, plus we have more eco. So I think we actually made the better play. He does have slightly more defense than us, but we're just going to full Q pinks here, because it will not be defended by his current defense. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Merlo. Your current defense does not suffice here. I just have a 0-0 zero, zero Mortar because he's not sending me any... Uh, let's go for a Rapid Reload, actually. Live Count is kind of important in this matchup because of one thing. Pierce Cap. So if there's, like, way too many balloons for the Mortar to attack at once, it won't be able to attack all of them. So some of them may not get hit by the Mortar, even though it's in the Blast Radius of the Mortar. And that can, as a result make camos leak through and kill you so you have to be very careful about stuff like that okay we should wait, go for bernie stuff now i don't know why i i oversend i'm supposed to have bernie by now also this guy's burned more spikes than us so we do have an advantage in that way so sure we're gonna be down in live count here but we do have the spike advantage so we're actually okay but he's going very heavy on the eco Whereas I'm kind of going a little bit smaller eco gains, but we are getting quite a bit of Cobras down. I'm surprised he's soloing with that. Shout out, only two Cobras is needed? Wow. But we're going to hit him with a massive Yellow Rush on this next round. Uh, See, like I could go for Wired Funds, but I want to go for a bigger Rush come round eight. So let's do that. He probably just goes for bigger Blast and, or, mortars, or Mortar Micro. Let's see what he does um we're both just sending a bunch of yellows he's definitely got more eco than me now like i said we, we're making a little extra money per round from our cobras if he was low on lives honestly region like whites or blacks would be a pretty solid rush but we're just gonna space eco now he's doing the same i don't think you should ever send whites here look at the price bro you get just as much eco for 15 dollars less if you send yellows and it's not like whites are gonna do that much damage here Okay, we got the Wired Funds army. He's still sent. I'm gonna burst Spike here just because. Let's do it. If he sends Rage and Lads, we just position our Mortar at the top and we'll be good. Which is actually what I'm gonna do right now. So he's doing the same. Let's go for you. He probably gets sent to Rush right here, but a little Mortar Micro should take it down. We could go for the Attrition play, and I don't mind that. The Attrition play is basically we get up like a bunch of Attritions, out Attrition him in case he tries to match it. And then we get him low on lives so that we can just layer a rush and balloon boost camo pinks through. So I think we might try that. It's kind of a weenie kind of play, but we're going to do it. Let's see if he rushes here. If he rushes, we just get up a cluster and we're good. Yeah, I'm going to eco a little bit, but soon what we're going to... Okay, we're actually kind of struggling. Let's go for a bomb here. What is happening? This is bad. I don't like how much we're leaking, dude. No way we can't afford. End the round, end the round, end the round, man. Thank you. Okay, so we both got a Clusty Busty up. Go to a good crisp 600 eco. And now, like I said, we're going to go for the good old attrition play. Especially when he's this low on live. So let's see how he reacts. If he's prepared for this. If he's going to try to match my attritions with attritions of his own. Or what? He's got more eco than me. Okay, he is going to match it. He is going to try to match it. Fair play. So I'm just going to go for some eco now then. But we do have the life advantage, so we'll see if he... Okay, he's only got one attrition, right? We should be able to get him low enough on lies, and you guys will see what I mean by sending rushes. We can actually try it right now. We're going to try a layered rush here. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this should be an extremely good layer and force boost. Yep, that's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. You're dead. What? Screen lag, but it worked. So now what we can do is we could go for a finish him. That we get our balloon boost back quicker and we can do another rush. That's what we're going to do. So let's do that. And this might be GG. Let's see. Survey says... No way he's... Okay, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> 
People don't know how to re how to play against that. Plus, since I used to finish him, I got my balloon boost back before he got his tower boost back. He could have countered that with a monkey stim, but he wasn't thinking that far ahead, I guess. GG, buddy. And that's the attrition tech, I guess, in a nutshell. We got SPF, Mr. Sunscreen himself, 9,800. Good luck. Final game of the video here, boys. And once again, we're rocking the same loadout. It's the theme of today's video, all right? It is the theme, which is, I think this is the best Cobra strat. So I'm going to use it and show you guys how to use it as well. So that's that. Let's see if, okay, we're up against farms this time around. So that means we are going to do what we did in the two games ago and start with a little anti-stall and get my mortar up at the start of round two. We just have to assume he has a loadout that's going to outlate game us. Okay, him going for a farm there. Again, I'll say it every time. It's not the play if I'm anti-stalling. You got zero bananas round one, dude. It doesn't do anything. You should always just get up defense. So he has Darling again. A lot of Darling players today. Interesting. I don't think this guy's going to have Darling Farm Boomer. I'd be kind of shocked, but you never know with some people. We're just going to send a little bit. Make sure my Cobra's handling any other stragglers. And we'll go for another one here. Okay. And yeah, if you go into round four, less than one minute game time, that means you're doing a good job anti stalling So I think we went into that next round at like 56 game time, something like that. But we're just going to space eco here. We can't force any defense. So we're just going to space eco. This way it allows us to get up more Cobras to help us um, pop anything he sends. Also, he's not sending anything. Again, I don't like that. I think you should always mix eco against Cobra because it can break the anti stall especially. That's like the main reason. If you can extend out rounds by distracting your opponent's towers into like not being able to fully pop the natural balloons that's really really good because you want as much money as possible to defend against any balloon adjustment so he just got his uh plantation pretty good play i guess that's good now i would start mix equaling maybe he just wanted to get a plantation first hopefully he rushes me here i'm fine burning a boost this round too to further enhance my anti-stall so yeah we're gonna boost this and you're probably thinking, Asian, you're freaking crazy, man. But the boost here is okay because... Okay, never mind. I didn't anti-stall. Some, some balloons stuck by. <laughs> Come on, Asian. All right. Well, I basically just wasted a boost, but I guess we got a boost out of him somehow. So we'll take it. So it somehow like worked out, but yeah, that's not how I envisioned that going. Kind of potato gameplay, but it is what it is. So now we're just going to plan on sending him a massive yellow rush. Problem is I also need a Bernie stuff and I'm not anti-stalling anymore because I have a skill issue, but it's fine. We'll force cluster buster here. Come on, bend around. Come on, get your cluster. Okay, perfect. So now we forced as much defense as we possibly could. So now let's focus on farming. I guess if he's going to balloon boost, we just get bigger blast. We're fine. This solos. This solos. Good rush though he forced defense i don't even feel like ecoing here he's thumbs downing not my problem kit um and yeah we're just gonna keep on cobra farming here it's like i said the, the cluster buster plus a zero on darling will defend everything for a while so we might as well just get cobras up i guess we could space eco a little bit if we wanted to but let's do it let's get some eco here he might send me some regions or something. We have to be wary of that. But it looks like we're okay. He's doing pretty well. Like, you should be able to farm well with his loadout. So, that's good. But the problem is, a defending adjustments are not very easy with his loadout. That's the main struggle point. Is you're relying just on Darling to defend camos. So, he's going for another Darling. We're going to send camo leads. We're going to get this guy up. Perfect. And now we're kind of just good to go. Let's keep on building up the Cobra army. So what rush can I send to get through his defense? We could send a camo rush, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm just literally going to eco and hopefully cause him to panic. He's farming quite well, but he doesn't have much eco. He's probably got like 270 eco. He sent me like those yellows and I think that was like it and a few blacks. He's just targeting his uh thing. He's farming incredibly well. But I think I can punish him if he goes for a BIA because... His camo defense is really bad. It looks decent on map, but he doesn't have faster barrel spin on either of those. So if I just do a layered rush with regen lights and then some camos behind it, he's not going to have fun. But if he, I think the safe play and what he should do is just go for a bank and leave some plantations behind. But he's not doing that play. 
I'm trying to bait him into rushing me, but he's not falling for it. So if he BIAs on this round, I think we just full send adjustment. I think he's going to try. Yep, he's going to try. So we'll see how he handles adjustment now. Don't think this is going to be fun for you. This should be a free boost, I think. Let's see. Also, can we defend or no? We might be struggling here. He's going to be boosting this. That doesn't defend. Yeah, perfect. And now, guess what? This is how you force good old BIA cell, boys. We go like this. He's not going to enjoy this. Sorry. Hate to do this to you, buddy. But we just hit him with a balloon boost here. And we go like this. And that should force BIA cell. You're not defending without BIA cell, buddy. Never mind. He's a god? Okay, I didn't send enough Camel Ceramics. I sent one more Camel Ceramic and we win that. So I kind of just threw this game. But we might be able to cheese a win here still. We're not out of it yet. Very, very bad spot for us, but we're still in the game. It's just going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Because I'm kind of broke. <laughs> That's what happens when you full send an offensive push rush. If I just sent one more Camel Ceramic there... We 100% take him down or force him to BIA cell. That hurts, man. Well, let's just keep committing to this. The problem is he's building up interest every freaking second here. Which is not good. Maybe he'll get desperate and like all out me next round. But it's not looking good, boys. I'm just going to send him space lads. This way we get a little bit of eco and it might block his bottom darlings from popping balloons. He sends me a BFB, which he might... Oh, he's getting ready for a BFB. Like, bro, I, I don't have money to send you that. <laughs> don't need the Maulers, man. Natural Moabs don't come for seven more rounds. You're good, buddy. You're good. Don't worry. But we are still in the, starting to build up a decent adjustment army up again. Again, our round 17 kill rush that did not work. Kind of set us behind a fair bit. But we're managing to stick in this one. In game... Which is lovely to see. And maybe we'll end up being goaded on the mobile device today. Let's just have to just have to wait and see. Again, it's bad though. Because he's gotten 80 eco every round for what? For a really long time. Because of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's had it since like round 15. So he's gotten like... uh Like six... He probably has like... Oh, he's dead. 900 eco. He's dying though. He needs defense. Don't die. Okay, he's clutching up. But now he's panicking. And when they start panicking, that means they might start it all outing. So we have to be cautious. The Hydra Rockapod just isn't that good. Uh, I think we go double cluster here. That's, I think, something we do here. I think we would struggle if I didn't do that. That's an alright play. Are these all up? Oh, one of these is on first. I gotta find him. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? All right, not wasting my time on that. We're just going to keep building the Cobra Army, I guess. So round 24 and 25 are the best adjustment rounds. Before round 30, basically. So we're hoping... We're just going to try to build up a really strong adjustment. We got him to boost, like, round 5 or something. We got him to boost just now. And we got him to boost round, like, 16. He's out of boost, which is really good. I'm, like, 90% sure he's out of boost. So now we just want to build up our Cobra Army so that you can't just... Obviously, he has no boost, so he's going to have to, like, over-defend. And the camels are going to start to get a little bit freaky for him. My eco sucks. But, again, that's because of the round 17 shenanigans we tried to pull. So, we are going to need some defense. Or we can boost. I don't think we'll defend natural balloons here, will we? Uh, I hope we do. We really need our cobras to shred things down. Go and spike as well. He's handling all the adjustment? No way, man. I feel like this should be overwhelming him. Oh, maybe he's dead. I think you're dead. No way. He's defending. I don't think we ever send a BFB or anything like that. So I think we just keep building the adjustment. Sending some space. Okay, he goes for that. This is actually really uh, cool to see. So we need defense for sure. Let's go for Bloon and Pock Day. And a little bit of Mortar Micro to get this one done. That should do the job. We're good, right? 
So he defended my adjustment. Never mind, he sold farms. Holy cow, more Hydro Rocket Pods. BFB send here would have been smart. I should have sent him one. Oh well, he's defending now. But his farms aren't great, but he's kind of chilling because he has a lot of eco. Okay, never mind. He's absolutely chilling. So how do we win this? That's a great question. He can't afford to sell any defense, I don't think, because... Like, the adjustment's still gonna be a thing, like, that he has to handle. Also, like, we are, are under defending. We're good. I only have a 1,000 ego. Not good. Let's go to 1,100. And then I think I call it quits, because... I think this game ends around 30. So, round 31's a really difficult adjustment round. Other than that, I don't think there's many... Their adjustment opportunities. Can I defend natural balloons this round? Or do I need another mauler here? Ooh, see, like, this is where I would love to have spikes. Actually, I think this solos. Impact, you solo for us, buddy? Is he good? I thought he just leaked there for a second. Maybe I'm tweaking. So how do we play this? He's got two facilities um his farms aren't that good i think i just send him a zomg round 32 if we can get there the nice thing is we have a stall tower and he doesn't so we can mortar stall away if we really need to which i think is an underrated thing here for us again 1100 eco sucks oh he's rushing now round 28 you're rushing me oh this is interesting okay this is not what i expected He's going to force me to sell some adjustments, but it shouldn't be too difficult of a defend. And this is when we just burn one of our boosts, I think. Now, luckily, this isn't a ramped one. This is just a regular DOMG. I don't want to sell all my adjustments because I still want him to have to defend my adjustments. So we're just going to boost here. This should defend on boost, I would think. I'd be shocked if this doesn't defend on boost. Okay, we have to sell some things because it's not defending. A boost! This is a bad problem because... Yeah, we're dead. Wait. Hold on. We're alive. The problem... Oh, we're dead to camos. No, we're living. Okay. The problem is impact stall and um whatever it's called stall. Mortar stall, like, offset each other in a way. It's super bad. Okay, I need to just... uh Let me think here. Let me think here. Sell all these. Sell all these. We can actually defend this, boys. This is defendable, and you're probably thinking I'm crazy. But it is defendable. Uh, we also want to get a big one here, because round 32. Okay, we can't defend all that, but we can defend the first ones. So I'm going to boost here to defend this front one. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we have to counter with BFBs. We just got to pop this first one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We want to sell our impacts any chance we can because, like I said, the stall thing. The stall issue. Okay. We're good, right? Yeah, so now we have to counter. No! I actually said the B ZOMG. I meant to send a BFB. Did I just throw? I think I just threw. Okay. Uh, He has no boost. We just have to stall it out. Stall it out. Stall it out. This is winnable. This is extremely winnable. Stall it out like your life depends on it, Asian. Come on, boy B. Come on, baby. If you're watching this live... Make sure you comment what you think is going to happen. Who's going to win this? Who's going to win this chat? Let me know. We need to sell everything we have. I think I just have my mortar and my big one. We're going to sell those. Do I have anything else I can sell? Oh, I do have some Cobras. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mortar stall, mortar stall, mortar stall. This is looking really bad. It's looking really bad. Come on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, come on, Asian. You're clutching. I have nothing to sell. I have nothing to sell. Yes! Give me that content, baby! <laughs> GG, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to drop a like below. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. That's why you never back down, never give up. Let's get this.